Well, good morning and hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to the fall 2020 OPEG meeting. Um, my name is Jeff Moore. I am uh, a co-chair of this uh, committee and Linda. My name is Linda Spilker. I am Jeff's co-chair. I'd like to also welcome you to OPEG's first virtual meeting and thank you very much for joining us this morning. Okay, so let's go to the next slide. Okay, let's talk a little bit about our charter. Um, the Outer Planets Assessment Group um, is a NASA's community-based forum to provide science input for planning and prioritizing outer planet exploration activities for the next several decades, particularly as we're coming up on the Decadal Survey. We evaluate outer solar system exploration goals, objectives, investigations, and required measurements on the basis of the widest possible community outreach, hence why we're having this meeting, and much other things. We meet twice a year, uh, usually in the summer, which we're having now, obviously, and we'll have another meeting um, in uh, early next year. Uh, whether it's virtual or not, we'll have to see what the world is like at that moment. OPEG documents are inputs to decadal surveys, as uh, I'm sure you all know, and of course, our documents are also available widely on our website at the LPI website. The uh, OPEG and Small Body Assessment Group, uh, SBAG, have joint custody of the Pluto system and other planets among the Kuiper Belt objects. Okay, may I have the next slide, please? Okay, here's our committee. Uh, you just heard from myself and Linda. We were co-chairs of OPEG. Uh, our other committee members are Alfred McEwen, who is a past uh, uh, chair of this uh, organization, uh, Linda Quick, uh, Kathleen Mant, next slide please. Morgan Cable, Brittany Schmidt, who by the way is rotating off uh, over the next few months. Kunio Siganagi is here. Uh, Tom Spelker, uh, Abigail Reimer, next slide please. Scott Edgerton, uh, Amanda Hendricks, Mark Holstetter, who's also uh, rotating off, and Jeff Bowman, who's also rotating off. Terry Herford and Carol Patty. And you'll hear later on in this meeting about uh, a procedure we're setting up to uh, solicit new membership for our uh, steering committee. We have the next slide, please. Okay, first of all, I wanna give a big thanks to Kurt Niebuhr. Kurt has been the headquarters rep for OPAG since its inception way back when in 2006. Uh, and we've tremendously benefited from his insight and um, wisdom and um, more than a little bit of cat herding on his part. Uh, Kurt's taken on new task at headquarters, but we're still seeing him at OPEG meetings in his role as program scientist to the Europa Clipper New Frontiers program, Europa Clipper missions, uh, and the Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer mission, and outer planet and ocean worlds um, uh, activities at headquarters. May I have the next slide, please? Yeah. And a big welcome to Casey Hansen. Uh, uh, Casey has been running the CDAP program, so many of you probably already know him, and he's been coming to our meetings. Uh, Casey has rec recently been made a civil servant and has stepped up to be the new o OPEG headquarters representative. And uh, his um, uh, interactions with us so far has been uh, really great. He's uh, right on top of things. I, he's been a tremendous asset. We're glad to have him on board. Next slide, please. Okay, uh, recent and upcoming OPEG related meetings. Um, uh, we had a meeting back in February, which was back when we could still have face-to-face -face meetings at the LPI, and it was a very good meeting. Uh, we had a number of excellent presentations, uh, and particularly uh, uh, noteworthy of that meeting was it promptly segued into a joint VEXED OPEG EXOPAG meeting, also at LPI which we found was really useful. And we'd like to see more of these kind of meetings in the future. I think this kind of pan ag integrated approach to big science questions was extremely useful. And I heard nothing but people sing the praises of this and hopefully we can do more of them. Well, clearly uh, we're having this present meeting right now, starting today, which will focus on mainly issues uh, involving the, uh, the upcoming Decadal survey, and also we sent out six findings from February, which I presume uh, Kurt will uh, address in his headquarters briefing, which follows this talk. And we have a possible town hall uh, at AGU. Next slide. 
Okay, Jeff, I'll take it from here. Just want to quickly go through our agenda for the week. After this welcome, then Kurt Niebuhr will be giving a NASA Planetary Science Division update. That will be followed by OPEG white paper related discussions. Uh, Carol, Patty, and I will be handling that. And then the public Google Doc discussion. Please enter your questions in Google Doc. You can go in and do it at any point uh, during all of these presentations. And during this time, then those questions will be asked and the speakers will have a chance to respond. After the break, David Smith will be sharing the decadal survey plans. And that will be followed by a question and answer session with David as well as Phil Christensen and Robin Knupp, who are the co-chairs for the Decadal Survey. And then that will be followed by the afternoon public Google Doc discussion. So please get your questions in via the Google Docs. Next slide, please. On Wednesday, we're kicking off with planetary mission concept studies. First, Shannon McKenzie will be talking about the Enceladus flagship mission study. Then Abby Reimer will be talking about Neptune Triton strategic mission study. Mark Hofstetter will also give us uh, some information about the ice giant pre-decadal study. And the final talk is Carly Howitt. We'll be talking about the Pluto orbiter and Kuiper belt exploration mission study. After the break, we'll be getting updates about the approved outer mission concepts. And that includes Alan Stern talking about New Horizon. New Horizons, Bob Popolardo and Jan Chodas will be talking about Europa Clipper. Zivi Turtle will give us a dragonfly update. And Scott Bolton will be talking about Juno. And the final talk on Wednesday is the Europa Lander Mission Study. Uh, that will be given by Kevin Hand and Cynthia Phillips. Next slide, please. On Thursday, we'll kick off the morning with the discovery candidates with Alfred discussing Ivo and Carly Howitt, standing in for Louise Proctor, who wouldn't, who's been able to join us talking about Trident. Then some CAPS recommended mission concepts, an overview of those. Tom Spilker will be talking about the Saturn system mission concepts. And Amanda Hendricks, in this case, Kunio Sayanagi will be talking about the solar system telescope concepts, followed by the public Google Doc discussion. If there's time remaining at the end of a talk, there might be time for one or two questions, but in general, we'll be asking our speakers to stay online for the public Google Doc discussion. And finally, on Thursday afternoon, the additional top topics include the PPIRB briefing that Alan Stern will give us. That's the Planetary Protection uh, Review Board study that was put together. The Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion Working Group update will be given by Christina Ritchie, and Moses Malazzo is her co-chair. Then Henry Throop will be talking about some of the RNA status report, uh, statuses, including the Cassini data analysis program, New Frontiers data analysis, and solar system workings. And I know there's a lot of interest in this topic. So Henry has 30 minutes for that discussion. Then we'll conclude by the OPEG steering committee membership discussion. And I'll be talking about just what does OPEG do? What are some of the responsibilities of OPEG? And how you can add yourself uh, put in a nomination to be added to the steering committee for the three members that are rolling off. Then our final public Google, Google Doc discussion will include a discussion of any new findings. For this, please put in for new findings, uh, the findings colon, so we know what, you, what findings you're interested in. Next slide, please. Finally, there's an outstanding opportunity for early career scientists. NASA is proposing an exciting career path to provide an accessible ways to increase the number of early career scientists that are exposed to mission science team experiences. And in particular, Psyche, Europa Clipper, and Dragonfly missions are inviting early career scientists to observe their next science team meetings. And this is open to graduate students that are in or beyond their third year uh, of earning their doctorate or early career scientists that are within seven years of receiving their doctorate. This first cycle is limited to US citizens and green, green card holders only, and that's because of ITAR concerns. And I know that NASA is looking into expanding this to international participation in the future. So interested candidates could review details that are posted on the OPAG and SBAG websites. Emails have gone out, and the selection preferences will be given to individuals from institutions, in particular, that are unrepresented, underrepresented on planetary science missions. And so if you're interested, please send a letter, a two-page letter, 
indicating uh, your interest and which of the team meetings you'd like to attend. And if you have any questions, please send those to Kurt Niebuhr with the subject line science team meetings. There's a short fuse for the Europa Clipper mission to respond by September 14th. For Dragonfly and Psyche missions, please respond by September 30th. Uh, next slide, please. So finally, I'd like to give a big shout out to the LPI event coordinators. They were outstanding in putting together our first virtual meeting and it wouldn't have been possible without their efforts. And they kept everything going, even through last week's hurricane, Hurricane Laura. So a big thank you to Jamie, Ingrid, Linda, Myra, Joey, and the entire LPI staff. Thank you so much for here, your here. efforts in putting this meeting together. Thank you very much. And with that, Jeff, I'll turn it back over to you.